Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today, we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. Tesla vehicles are thought to be bought by that many people due to Elon Musk's PR only and not because of the features they offer their potential buyers. A recent survey carried out by Askeland has proven this hypothesis dead wrong. A group of 1,000 people was surveyed. 100 people were Tesla owners, 100 owned other electric vehicles, and the rest did not have any electric vehicles at all. When asked about what might lead them to the idea of purchasing a Tesla, the absolute majority mentioned range, style, quality, specialty, and performance. None of them mentioned Elon Musk as a major factor influencing their decision. When specifically asked about Mr. Musk, Tesla owners seemed to like the fact that he frequently comes forward on Twitter to discuss certain pertinent matters. They did not like some of his, shall we say, behavioral traits, but the positives still seemed to outweigh the negatives. Those who did not own a Tesla did not seem to like Mr. Musk, having one thing in common though, they approved of the fact that Tesla seems to be doing the car business like no other company before it. The way Tesla makes and sells cars is surprisingly good for a new entrant to the automobile business. Other legacy car makers have a tough time competing with Tesla, even if they try to replicate what Tesla is currently doing. Tesla owners and the general public seem to have a good sense of where the influence of Elon Musk ends and pure Tesla quality begins. The approval was granted for Tesla to build a massive 62-stall V3 supercharger in Santa Monica at the beginning of March. Unfortunately, the project has been put to a stop to handle the Los Angeles housing crisis. In a meeting held on the 9th of March, it was concluded that the lot given to Tesla would be utilized for creating an interim zone for potential houses in Los Angeles. There are currently more than 3 million residents in Los Angeles, but the housing available is insufficient for them. To create suitable accommodation, many empty lots designated for other projects were taken by the government to handle the crisis. Tesla's location of the Santa Monica Supercharger was one of such lots. This was done as an emergency measure, even though Tesla had the approval to begin the project in the first place. The period of the delay is currently unknown and could last from 45 days to over two years. Government officials and analysts are currently working on figuring out how much time Tesla will have to wait. There are some speculations that the act could have been inspired by political reasons, as many council members had been citing rather bizarre reasons to stop Tesla's project in the first place. However, the housing crisis does seem to be a real problem and should be dealt with as soon as possible. There has recently been a fire incident at the Tesla's Fremont factory Gigapress. It was a small fire and was handled in time by the local firefighters, who chose to use sand rather than water to extinguish it. Fortunately, no major damage or casualties were reported as a result of the incident. Even as the fire continued, there were Tesla's employees seen standing close to the area. The city's fire department deployed two fire engines to handle the situation. Upon reaching the location, they were advised by the Tesla staff to use sand instead of water, thus avoiding potential disastrous developments. The reason behind the fire was traced to be hydraulic fluid and molten aluminum. Fortunately, no personnel from the city's fire department were injured. Members of the Tesla community, who are aware of how hydraulic presses work, were quick to comment that the damage done could not have been severe and the operations will likely to continue very soon. Some parts will probably need replacement and cleaning though. As a complement to the futuristic looks of the Cybertruck, Tesla has made the Giga Texas itself look quite futuristic. Recent shots of the under construction facility have shown it to be unique looking due to the dark gray colored aluminum fittings on large frames. Many Tesla enthusiasts have also pointed out a likeness to the theme of the video game Cyberpunk 2077. This is quite true as the design of the factory is very angular and brutalist. The Texas Gigafactory is unlike any other production plant on the planet and Tesla is trying very hard to prove this point. Efforts to make the factory stand out just like its main product, the Cybertruck, are long and older. The speed at which Tesla is finishing the facility is also quite impressive to say the least. The components of the paint shop have been taken to the facility and soon it will be in working condition. It is being speculated that Tesla might complete the cyberpunk look 
by giving neon accent to the black and dark gray panels of the building. This is actually what Tesla has done to the Cybertruck itself. Its gray structure has been given sleek front and black lights to give it a particularly cyberpunk design. A common theme is being shared by the factory as well as the finished product expected from it. Tesla is planning to broaden its portfolio once again by expanding its car insurance business. It will expand its in-house insurance mechanism from just California and take it to Texas, Illinois and Washington. The insurance sector of Tesla was established to cater to the needs of Tesla owners who were having a tough time getting fair car insurance for their electric vehicles. It was obvious that Teslas were unknown to conventional insurance businesses and hence they charged extra to customers. As the in-house insurance business has been quite profitable for Tesla, the company is planning to first expand to other states within the United States and then to other countries such as Israel, China and some in Europe. As to the official approvals, Texas and Illinois have already approved Tesla's rates, rules and regulations, while Washington has agreed on the initial terms and conditions. However, there has not been a formal start to the business in any of the states where Tesla is yet to launch its operations. Similarly to California, Tesla will disrupt the industry when it begins operations in the new states. One reason behind this is the fact that Tesla is most aware of the capabilities its vehicles have and how to handle problems once they arise. Other third-party insurance companies exploited the uniqueness of Tesla to charge heavy premiums to their customers who own the EVs. The access to the full self-driving mode in Tesla vehicles has been granted to an additional 2,000 users. People who did not pay much needed attention to the road when the full self-driving was activated had their FSD beta usage privileges revoked. The announcements came via Mr. Musk's tweet. FSD beta is being tested with 2,000 users in the United States, while Tesla is planning to launch it in Canada and some European states. Regulatory reforms are under discussion to make this happen as soon as possible. Elon Musk also stated that even though the reliability of Tesla's full self-driving has been proven time after time, there is a certain amount of attention that still must be given to the road by the person in the driving seat. Those who were found doing otherwise have been removed from the list of FSD users. The use of the word beta was a premeditated step by the company to show that the software is currently not in its final form, hence human drivers and passengers must be vigilant. Violators have been revoked of their FSD usage rights so that an accountability culture can be nurtured to avoid any unfortunate events in the future. There have been no accidents reported while the Teslas were being driven with FSD activated and Tesla is working to keep it like that. Any accident at this point could act as a potentially very heavy blow to the company's credibility and reputation. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.